Part 1, Introduction to Linear Equations. You will find this on page 113 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 8 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at the introduction. In primary school, we came across mathematical sentences such as a square plus 4 equals 9, where we needed to fill in the square with any possible number to make the sentence true. If we replace the square with 5, we have 5 plus 4 equals 9. That's what we did in grade 1. But now, if we replace the square with an x, we have x plus 4 equals 9. So in primary school, we just use a square or a triangle or a circle as a placeholder. But now, in high school, from grade 8 on, we use a variable like a x or a y or a z, any alphabet letter, but it's meaning the same as that square. So x plus 4 equals 9 is called an equation in one unknown x. So there's only one variable. The equal sign means that the total value on the left-hand side of the equation must be the same as the value on the right-hand side of the equation. What does this mean? Let's, let's show it with a scale. So if there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's the 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, that must, then I must put 9 on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that the scale can balance. That it's not going up or down. It's on level, horizontal level. Because there's equal amount on both sides. And that's what that equal is meaning. A solution or root of an equation is a value of the unknown that will make the equation true. For example, x is equal to 5 is a solution to the above equation, but x is equal to 4 is not. To solve an equation means to find the solution or solutions to the equation. This is very important. To solve an equation means to find the solution of the equation. Now, in linear equations, we will just have one solution, one root, but in quadratic, in other grades, we will have more than one solution. Okay, let's look. The following table shows some examples of linear and nonlinear equations. Now, linear equations, it's when the index of the variable is just one, positive one. So if you look here, it's just positive one. Here, positive one. Here, positive one. If there stands nothing, we know it's positive one. Here, the y is positive one, the x is positive one. The x is positive one, the y is positive one. If we must look, you see that the x is in the numerator, not in the denominator. So if it's in the numerator, it will be positive 1. But let's look at nonlinear equations. Do you see? It's x to the power of 2. It's not positive 1 anymore. Then it's not linear. x to the power of 3, it's not positive 1, so it's not linear. This one, later grades, you will see that this is, if we take it up to the numerator, it will be x to the power negative 1 and then it's not linear. So the x to the power 1 must not be in the denominator. It must be in the numerator to be a linear e equation. In lighter grades, you will see that this x is to the power a half, and it's not positive 1, and then it's not a linear equation. It's a nonlinear equation. So maybe we can just mark here. In this case, I said if we take it to the numerator, it will be negative 1, then it's not linear. And here I said in later grades you will see, if we take it out of the root, it will be an index of a half. And that is also not a whole number positive one, and that's why it's nonlinear equations.